We call it Ranger Bobs. This hill has always defeated me. I've never been able to drive it, but I've been here today and I reckon I'm gonna have a go. Here at Mad Map 4-Wheel Drive, I'm all about educating and building the four-wheel drive community. So we can wheel well. I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you get all of the notifications. All right, so I've tried this a number of times over the years. I tried it in my very first Bundera. I've tried it in a twin lock GQ Patrol on 35s. I got the front wheels to there and that was the end of that. I'm now gonna have a go in my short wheel base Bundera. Twin locked, 33s, I reckon. I'm going to have a go. So what I'm thinking is just, I keep looking at this and going, I think there's a line there that I can crack. You see, that hole, I can't drive it. No, no way. But if I get my passenger's wheel to travel up here, my driver's wheel will be on that. And barring that step there, I reckon I can get up that and I reckon I can ramp over that as well. So. I'm going to have a go. I'm going to come in. I'm going to just have a taste first. Just come in, taste the hill, see what goes on. Back out, taste again. And then I think the way I'm going to drive it is basically first low, twin locked, and just a nice fluid momentum with as minimal wheel spin as I can achieve. What I do not want to have happen, the right rear slide into there, because then it's basically over. But I think there's an, a wedging effect you know, because we've got that face there, that face there, I think it'll kind of wedge me in. Now my tyres, the fronted air down to about 17 pound, and the rears I've gone down to about 14, 15 pound. So, we've got, you know, I, can't, I haven't got bead lock, so I can't go any lower than that. Got a winch recovery point hooked up up there. So if I do get stuck, I'm probably going to get Mrs. Mad Matt to hook me up. Let's have a crack. Right, eh, so let's just have a taste. Oh, I better flick the magic buttons on, front and rear on. <laughs> Stall it. All right, so the rear's dug in, which I sort of expect. Right, that front feels good. All right, I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> and that was that rear falling in that I suspected. So now I've gotta bring it down with the front across so front doesn't fall in too hard. There we go. So I've got to line the back up again. So we'll just line up. Come across that way. This is where auto is so nice. You can do it in manual, but auto is so controlled. All right, here we go. All right, so same again. Oh, we've got heaps of dust coming up. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring the back across to the, to the left to try and change the angle that the back comes into the, into the hill. Oh. I've got really low crawler gears in this, 529 ratios, and I'm still getting used to them. Old driving habits. Okay, let's have a look. I can't have a look, can I have a look? Okay, so if I bring the front across like that, and then go a bit. Okay, we'll try that. Okay, that's a bit better. One of the tricks when you're doing this stuff is keeping track of your steering. I don't know how I do it, but generally I, I just know where my wheels are pointing. Okay.
All right, that's it. I'm calling it there, I'm winching, <laughs> because if I get this wrong, I'm on my side. So um, I'm gonna get Mrs. Mad Matt to run that winch out for me. Right, eh? so Mrs. Mad Matt's hooked up the winch, and uh, well, I'm just gonna winch in and see how we go. All right, so it's gonna be a big winch, I think. I will assist. Come on, girl. Crunch, crunch, grind, grind. We're driving. We're slowly driving. All right. Oh, I might as well winch that last bit, eh? <laughs> All right, where are we going? Come on, girl, up you go. All right, there we go. Well, all right. Oh. Ah, my rock slider's gone up. Well, there you go. So it looks like when I've come down on that driver's side, the rock slider's bent up a little bit. When I built them, I built them really close to the bottom of the door. Maybe that was not so clever an idea. <laughs> anyway, well, that was a bit of fun. It looks like I'm not driving Ranger Bob anytime soon, eh? Anyway, I'm Mad Matt. Stay safe on the trails.